hello guys in this uh, video today I will uh, teach you the topic of analysis of cantilever beam as you see this is a cantilever beam um, of length 10 foot and uh, and the load coming on the cantilever beam is 5 kip per foot and uh, there's only one support is denoted by a uh, support a uh, and the whole load will be only supported by this reaction only by this support the whole load coming on the beam so how to analyze this beam uh, I will show its shear force and bending moment diagram and uh, to show you uh, that how it will resist this whole load coming to the again to the cantilever beam and first I'm going to calculate its reaction forces is the five kip load is the five kip per foot load is coming on this beam is a five kip per load so this load will be only resisted by this support is there is no other support and because of this load because of five kip per foot this load there will be moment generated in this direction so this moment will be only resisted by this support in this direction so this is our uh, this is our analysis that how it will react to the uh, load coming on the beam. So now I will do the calculation of calculation of reaction forces that I will do here. I will do here the calculation of this is a calculation first at support a there will be I'm showing it by writing support a so there will be a reaction a reaction in the upper direction I am representing it by ra and it will be the 5 kip per load is coming on the beam is the 5 kip per load coming on the beam I multiply it with by 10 because it is uniformly distributed load now it will if I multiply it with by 10 the fit foot will be cancelled like in this way 5 multiply by 10 and this unit is kip for fit while the 10 foot is it's only the unit of foot so foot and foot will be cancelled only 5 multiply by 10 and kips only remaining so it will be 5 multiply by 10 is equal 50 kips only 50 kips load will be acting at the beam but where it will act it will act at the center of this length of 5 foot at the 5 foot this load will now act foot and this load the quantity of the load is 50 kip 50 kip so coming to the again the reaction forces that I calculate I calculate for you this is the yeah support reaction RA and uh, RA will be R will be 5 multiplied by 10 it will be equal to 50 caps and this load will be acting at the center of the cantilever beam so now I'm, I will show it by also by drawing as uh, the reaction force so this is this was the demand coming of 50 kips the distance of 5 foot from the lift support so this ray this force this load will be only resisted by the support A uh, I write it 50 kips this is the resistance so, 50 kips. This is resistance, and I will represent it by RA at the support. This was our whole. Uh, what was uh, this? Is the load 50 kips, and this is the reaction. Now I'm interested in moment because of this load, it will bend, it will create moment, demand in this direction due to this load. So the resistance will be offered by an, by the support A in this direction. This will be moment A. So I'm interested in calculating this moment. So how we do you calculate the moment? The demand 50 kip is coming and we multiply it by the 
This is the um, arm, the arm guard. We say that the arm distance, and it is five foot. So if you multiply the five, I'm writing here now. If we I'm showing you here, the, the moment, moment M A. Now, and how will you call it? The fifty cap is the load, and the moment arm is multiplied by five foot. So we come out with. 250 cap foot this is the moment demand that's coming on and the support a and the and it will resist this so i will again write by deleting all these so i will now clearly show it by drawing the support a this is the yeah, this is the support A, and then the moment I will show here. I will show here, wait, 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 please. And this is the moment. Uh, this is the moment and this is the moment demand coming at this beam and it is uh, it will be equal to ma and ma will be equal to 250 cap foot there's a moment demand coming in this it will be resisted by the support and this is the reaction force well i, I represented by ra and it's equal to the uh, 50 caps equal to 50 caps now this is this i calculate the reaction forces so how to draw its shear force in bending moment diagram it's easy now because it's easy now um, that uh, i will draw the first the line for the shear force that i present it in this direction like this is the shear force line so is the whole demand is resisted only by this reaction so the whole shear force will also lie in this direction like is there is very less resistance offered at this direction is very less resistance is offered by this reaction at, at this point at this point at this point so that's why the whole shear force will lie in this direction like now this is the reaction and this now the um, the force is coming is down and the resistance is slow down so it will come at the zero because there is no resistance now at this point so this the shear force will be zero at this point because the resistance offered by this ra is zero at this point so that's why the shear force diagram will end up at this point i'm now putting in the values it will move like this it will move and this and then it will come down to zero yes and how much the shear force it will be 50 it will be 50 caps and here it will be zero zero caps you can see zero caps yes so this is the shear force diagram i will write it with the shear force diagram and now i will show you the moment diagram it's a cantilever beam so to draw its moment diagram i will again draw a line it's a line of 10 foot so to draw its moment diagram it will deflect in this way is the maximum moment as you see here is coming the maximum moment you see here is coming in on that point the whole load is coming in this way and the whole resistance is provided by the support in this direction the whole moment will coming in this direction and it will be negative moment like in this way 
and it is of second degree and because the shear force was a first degree and in the first degree shear force so the moment will be second degree because always remember that the a moment is always one degree higher than the shear force so I'm drawing it now clearly that the whole shear force will be like this the mo sorry the moment diagram yeah it will lie in this like this yeah this is the, this is the moment diagram and um, I'm showing you here now how much demand will act now okay I will write here with the moment demand is coming is 250 kip into foot the moment demand and here it will be zero because there is no resistance provided here zero kip into foot there is zero moment demand and zero moment diagram and the bending moment is zero and this is the bending moment diagram so this is the whole scenario of the cantilever beam that uh, this is the whole scenario of the cantilever beam that the load is acting of 5 kip per foot and the length of 10 foot and there is only support A so the whole load will be supported by this uh, reaction RA and the moment MA will be resisted in support A and uh, I draw the shear force as you see the shear force will be maximum there will be maximum at this point because the whole resistance provided by this in the zero at the support in point but there is no resistance offered similarly the moment diagram uh, as you see the maximum moment will be lying in this direction and the zero moment will be lying in this direction due to there is no resistance provided in, at these supports the support there is zero moment the whole moment will be resisted by this so if you have any question please uh, comment down and uh, please subscribe our channel uh, for more civil engineering videos thank you